Hey everybody, Pete here, and in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate a technique for putting a cut on a cylindrical sheet metal face and then being able to flatten it. So a customer asked me about this and I thought, well, this is generic enough, I could kind of pass it around to anybody. So I'm going to start out, I already created the sheet metal template, I'm just going to start out by asked, adding some parameters and we'll kind of go from there. So I'll say this is a six inch tall cylinder and it's three inches long, or uh, sorry, three inches in diameter. Go ahead and hit done. And so then I'm gonna just get right to the ISO stuff. Offset it from a plane. We'll grab the XY plane and we'll say height divided by two. And then we'll do that again and we'll say negative height divided by two. Now the reason I'm doing this is that way I can have everything centered. Should make it work pretty pretty easily. I'll go ahead and create a sketch, knock out my circle, and there we have it. So finish that sketch, go ahead and start up another sketch here, and we'll just simply project that guy. Cool, now we can do a lofted flange between the two to get our cylindrical closed shape. Now, uh, I'm assuming this is gonna be roll formed, so I can just click here for the die, and I said OD, so I'm gonna make it go to the inside. So, uh, when you have a closed shape like this, it's difficult to get the contour flange and contour roll to work, so sometimes just a, a simple loft, even if it's the same geometric shape, that's the only really easy way to get a sheet metal feature to do this and not have to create some extruded features and then convert them. So I'll turn off the visibilities. And what we've got then is we've got a cylinder and so what happens is we wanna cut the cylinder but for whatever reason the user wants to cut it at some angle. So what I'm going to do is grab um, a plane. I'm gonna rotate it about an edge. So we'll say the YZ plane and we're gonna rotate it about the Y axis. So you can give it a degree measure if you want. Um, we'll say maybe negative two. I, I'm just completely making this up. You know, the idea is that you could create a parameter for that angle as well, just like height and OD. So um, you guys can probably figure that out or I can show you how to do that in a second. And then from there, I'm gonna create a work point that's intersection of a plane, surface, and a line. Well, it doesn't always have to be a line because it can be an edge. So even if it's not linear, that will still work to create that point on that edge. Cool. So that's the gist of it. Now if we <clears throat> come up here and we go to the rip command, there is an option to do a point-to-point -point rip. So the first thing is we're gonna rip this cylindrical surface. We're gonna start at this point, end at this point, and then you can decide the characteristics of the rip or let it be driven via sheet metal rule, whichever you prefer, hit okay. And then last but not least, I can hit create the flat pattern just to verify, and there you go. And if you look closely, it is a squared off edge. It's not got some funny business going on there. so. That should get you the result that you want. And I forgot to create the parameter ahead of time, but it's okay because now I can show you, you can create it later. I can say cut angle, whoops. We'll give it degrees and let's say it's five. So what I can do is I can say negative cut angle. And then as I make that change, you can see in the background as I change that angle, I don't know if there'll be a limit here, might get a little bit freaky, but you can see it changes with that parameter. So that's how you can make a parametric cylinder that's got a sheet metal cut at an angle. Hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and comments and have a blessed day.